Palm-sized masterpiece from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katsanga. I'm very pleased to be able to do a video on this. Well, I wonder, this could also be from Kakanda. A little bit uh, confusing. The uh, On this side of the matrix, we have tiny cobalt and calcite crystals. Almost a grey pink look to them. Not at all photogenic. Please note, these are a lot better in hand than what you're seeing on the pictures. Then you have a little bit of tiny quartz crystals. This could very well be Kakanda. A little bit of Krasakala there as well. Um, and this section, of course, is the fruitier section where you have this bladed formation of, uh, I think consensus currently is malachite, but I think we may be looking at the likes of Vizigirat, Paramelakonat, um, Gehardat, and the likes. You'll see it's, it's bladed malachite crystals or dark green to, to almost black in appearance. I think with strong, with a jeweler's light, you'd be, be able to see through them. I'm just going to go a little bit closer into this. Let's see if we can zoom in there. Ah, oh, there we have it. See these bladed crystals sitting on that section? And then across the top section over here as well. Right across we have the quartz crystals, maybe a minor dusting of heterogenite, a little bit of chrysocola there as well. Then we have another little cavity or geode in the main matrix where you have some of those... Uh, uh, well, let's say for sake of his malachite crystals trapped as well. Size-wise, a palm size, so a pretty good size, not all that heavy. There you can see the bling bling as I move it around on the on the, the main faces. Let me just get this back in focus. I have, some days I have my moments with photography, some days are diamonds as they say, and some are just uh, stone. Uh, all the way from the uh, Katanga Copper Crescent in the Copper, Copper Mines of the Congo.